I mean, I want to play New York. <laughs> I want to play the elusive target. Oh, you get the next one. What? The next elusive target. We'll, we keep alternating. Or actually, we can You're try and- You're not gonna remember that. I'm gonna remember we it. We can and try and sign in me. your IO account and see if that'll work. I don't think it will, but... Mr. Edwards. I think we've watched this, this one. We have. It's the bank heist! Tell us everything about them. The ivory towers are about to fall. And when we're done... Let's cross that bridge when we get to it. For now, the partners are all that matter. There's an issue. Of course there is. Olivia's tracked the names mentioned by the Constant, and they're dead ends. How dead? Obituaries for all three have appeared in motion. Accidental death. Yeah. The mission one. Some cancer. of them are. They're covering their tracks. Faster than I thought. A contingency plan of sorts. The Constant wasn't aware of it. Seems they didn't tell him everything after all. Something this big will leave traces behind. The Constant says to follow the money. Milton Fitzpatrick. The investment bank. It's a key Providence asset. Which you worked for. The director of the New York branch is a Providence operative. It's our best bet as a way in. I'll tell the pilot to turn the plane around. Right, gentlemen. Here's what we've come up with. The partners are transitioning between identities. But everything is so recent, the Milton Fitzpatrick bank records will still be intact. We've confirmed that the partners have active accounts there. However, the bank's records are remotely updated on a frequent basis. We may only have hours before any leads that could get us the new identities of the partners. Right, so as long as this doesn't take us hours, we should be okay. The data we need can be obtained in two ways. The bank's data core can be accessed through the basement vault, but getting inside the vault could be challenging. Alternatively, bank director Athena Savalas, head of security Mateo Perez, and head of accounts Fabian Mann each carry a partial backup drive with data. We'll need all three drives to get the full data. Now, we cannot risk the partners discovering the data breach. Eliminating the bank's director, Athena Savalas, would sever the last remaining Providence tie to the bank and keep our activities hidden. Okay, one more time. We break into the vault, extract the hard drive rack, and eliminate the director on the way out. We. You. Good luck, 47. Jay walks across the street. It's okay. Breaking all if those laws, 47. 40, let's be honest. If the car hit 47, the car would break. Yeah. The car would have a bad day. I don't, yeah, I didn't think I have any smuggled location. I will bring a pistol. Fuck fiber wire. Um. Okay, lockpick, and I mean, we're in a bank. There's gonna be coins lying around, you would think. Yep, the ultimate cookie. Welcome to New York, 47. <laughs> the Milton Fitzpatrick Bank Ninja. is open for business, but it seems there's some sort of investigation underway. Expect increased security. Your target, Director Athena Savalas, can be found in her top floor office, overlooking the iconic Teller Hall. Head of security, Mateo Perez, is roaming between the vault area and the Teller Hall, talking to employees. 
and head of accounts, Fabian Mann, can be found on the investment banker floor and the top floor of the bank, driving the internal investigation. Remember, we need to secure the data from the bank's reinforced vault, or alternatively, acquire three hard drives carried by the director. So I should think it's gonna be easier. Man and Perez. Good luck, 47. Killing the three people that aren't in a secure bank vault. You don't need to kill them. You don't? No, you just need to knock them out. Oh. Substantial private savings. I'd like so. to deposit with They're trying bank. to find out. Wonderful. That's why Fabian uh, has a lot of financial investigators. Seven figures. Seven figures. Wow. Excellent. Fuming. Yes. Let's just find out. I like to think 47 keeps all of his money under his mattress. Mr. Reaper. So, what do you do for a living, Mr. Reaper? I'm in the retirement industry. Ah, then we're in a very similar business. Have these past few years been a problem? Must be a very tall mattress. Excellent. Director Savalas has taken us to record profits. All it took was a creative approach to the elimination of, let's say, unwanted elements. I'm all for elimination. Let me just activate the booth privacy setting for one moment. This way, nobody can see or hear anything that goes on. Who is that lady? Practical, isn't it? Well, so you want? Good night. <laughs> Goodbye, ninja suit. <laughs> nope. Hello, ninja suit. Mm -hmm. Why does he have a janitor's key? Why is that illegal? Who knows? I mean, yep, she is going down. Down, down, down. That's a fake name. Mm-hmm. Let's probably get them all in the same room at the same time. Sometimes they do notice, but you can just run away. Yeah, I think that's something people tend to notice. A teller stealing from a bank. Wait, did that say letter bomb? I don't know what it said, but... Um, I'm just gonna... Run, 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 run. Seriously, what are you holding? 
No idea. Yeah, letter bomb. I've got more explosives. Okay, chlorofilm. Form. Freaking me out. Stop that. Okay. Let's hide that. I believe that's all of them in this room. Kind of concerning that, uh. That it takes that little amount of time to pick. Okay. Okay, let's go upstairs. I mean, yeah. We have all the explosives. Are we go out upstairs. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh yeah, I guess you would have to be allowed up to the staff room. From what I heard, HR poked him several times, telling him the director did not appreciate that sweater look. Milton Fitzpatrick is holding a round of job interviews. The final applicant was last seen going into the bathrooms where he's been for some time. Nerves, maybe? I mean... Wait. There's a guy in the bathroom who's going to... Wait, what? <laughs> who's going to... Don't fall. Ace this interview. What? I don't know. Let's see an A. Not really. There's a hamper to hide him in. Good idea. You should put the wet floor sign back. Why? I can't wait for people to fall up, fall over in here. <laughs> I'm just gonna take it with me. Can, actually, can you put it back? I'm curious. Sort of. Hold both at once. You've got to be kidding me. That's no. I tried. Hold both at once. I am. No, hold both bumpers at once. Well, let me place it. Oh. <laughs> it's my um. It's my safety wet floor yeah. sign. It's for safety. Yes. Yes. Like a new man. <laughs> I'm ready. Wonderful. And they say 47 has no sense of humor. Let's see where this will lead you to. Where am I going? Nervous? Don't worry. You'll do fine. Okay. Run, run, run. Nailed it. Thomas, 
Have a seat, please. Ah, Mr. Thomas. Good to meet you. I'm Kevin, and this is Melissa. We're both with HR, and we will be guiding you through this last test. It's important to stress that there's no pass or fail here. It's merely a standard personality oh, test to gauge how you'll fit in. <laughs> personality test. Slenderman. Off, okay? Angry Bird. Right, so this is a very simple test. Pagan ritual. All you do is pick a card okay. and tell us what you see there. Now it's important to point out that there are no right or wrong answers here. It's just given. I can't wait to see what 47's yeah. answers are. You know, apparently these were actually like a genuinely well-developed medical test for they are. mental illness, and then it just kind of got butchered. Opportunity. That one. Okay. Oh, very good. This is an interesting one. What do you see here? Take in the whole image, please, and in as much detail as possible, tell me what this reminds you of. Well. Hmm. Can you elaborate on that? I see a big pile of money earned performing questionable actions. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bending the rules of the game. It's what I do. Very good, Mr. Thomas. Mm, very interesting observation, Mr. Thomas. Okay, wait. Also, uh, did these guys show up on... Objective data core. No, they don't. Okay. Not what we expected, but, but that's perfectly fine. Let's take the next one, shall we? Pick any of the remaining cards. Oh my god. That, make you think of that one. Execution and that one. I'll pick this one. Good choice. Looks like a guy in the crosshairs. Me, what is the first thing you see here? Just the very first thing that comes to mind. I see a figure in a large coat. Perspective skewed. As if I'm looking at him from the ground. He's got something in his hands. I... Go on. He's on. Dual fire. <laughs> or that. That works too. Caliber pistols. I see. What else do you see? He's just finished a job. Perfectly executed. And who is this man? It's me. Very, very interesting. Well, that's a very... 47. Yeah, he doesn't have a sense of humor. <laughs> I think we've just got time for the last card. Please proceed. Uh, this last card should hopefully make you think of prosperity. This one. All right. Now look at it closely. Take a few moments. Then tell me, do you see an animal or an object? Animal. I see. Animal. What yeah. kind of animal? A bird. But right behind you. Eagle, perhaps. An eagle. Very These are. You know the fact that they don't because know you're a different. Person oh wait! Kind of Hold jives. on. Look. Bullseye. A carcass. Bird. Yeah, dude, you didn't see that? <laughs> oh no, I saw the first the the money and the eagle. I didn't see the the bullseye one. Someone else is killed. That's very graphic, Mr. Thomas. Yes. Brutal even. Right. They're going to be like, "What the fuck? This guy aced his interview. He's going to get the job after he wakes up in the bathroom." Don't have the perfect match for the investment banker position. However, you're just the man we need for our accounting department. I have to agree with Kevin here. We need someone a little more cutthroat for the top tier here at the bank. Someone willing to go that extra mile to really dive into character. I think if you got them all, if you just literally went by the match. Did I not? No. You selected um, this one for opportunity and that one for... No, that one was execution. Yeah, no, but you selected this one for opportunity and this one for prosperity. Well, aren't you an eager beaver? Well, we expect you to come in tomorrow at eight. Welcome on board, Mr. Thomas. He's gonna knock him out. Yes. Don't you die! Hey, what are you doing? We don't want that gang violence around here, you get me? I know karate. <laughs> <laughs> She knows karate! She knows cartwheel. That's <laughs> what I call karate. Dump. He got the job. And now I have your job. Yep. You just put on the exact same... Did I? Yeah, you just put on a bank teller. That's what you took off to knock this guy out.
Oh, okay. Wait, was this not the dude to get the backup discs? No, I mean, the disguise you just put on was Bank Teller. I don't know, but I thought this was the interview for a backup disc. No, that's a different person. Oh. I now work here. Well, yeah, well, you're not wearing the clothing of the job applicant, so that was a given. I don't know, but like, yes, I, I now work here. I am the, I am the boss, yes. That is a wall. Oh, fuck. Huh? Okay. How did that not get messed up? This is a restricted area. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, Maybe. that's one of the guys. Is it? I think it is. No. Yes. Um, no. They're over there, isolating themselves. You should go join them. Yes. <laughs> oh, are you still carrying on the wet floor sign? <laughs> it's my safety wet floor sign. Free money. Shit. And just close it. Close. Bonk. <laughs> this is my new favorite weapon. Yeah. The wet floor sign. Uh. Did you grab your other coin? No, oh, someone coined one. <laughs> I didn't take a coin, because we're in a bank. It's full of coins. Well, I mean... I am now an investment banker. But this is how I believe 47 thinks she gets promoted in life. Like, I am now an investment banker. I've been promoted. One of the investment bankers at Milton Fitzpatrick is facing termination. Oh, no. He's got a private meeting with Director Savalas and has been told... Perfect! ...floor reception. Well, terminations are your specialty, 47. Yep. They even made a pun! I don't think it shows you a doesn't like that on the map. I think I have to go down the stairs, though. He's probably freaking out in the bathroom or something. Oh, it's this guy! Oh, it's ugly sweater guy! Um, maybe you can get into that room over there. 
And there he's yelling. Huh? I don't know. Well, I mean... Convenient. Very. Shit. Please stand back. I'll check it out. Oh. Okay, but be careful. Let's get legal action. Oh, come the fuck on. Like that bit. Really? Oi! No swearing! There was an illegal action over there. Oh, it was to pick up the other <laughs> right floor, floor side. side. I've always wondered what happens if you just do this. Do they break they, out? They just go asleep much more slowly. <laughs> Does he ever, like, say anything? I don't know. I'm gonna find Does out. Does he ever actually fall asleep? I don't know. <laughs> like, I legitimately don't know what happens. Can you move? Nope. This is getting somewhat uncomfortable. <laughs> It's okay, we'll help. Uh, <laughs> I think his mom made him the sweater. I mean, I don't think there's anywhere that would sell that. It looks like a carpet pattern. It looks like a Christmas sweater. <laughs> exactly, it looks like a carpet pattern. Oh, I guess I could put a poison in the bottle. Okay, now where am I going? I'm so tempted to pull a fire alarm. Why? What is that gonna achieve? Uh, probably bad things. Wait, someone noticed, there's noticers. I guess they noticed that on that notice, what? Is that the security? Yeah. Are those concussion grenades? Wow, these guys What is suck. this bank? These guys suck! Throw a concussion grenade at him. No, that's a loud noise. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh no, my safety thingies! His tie's weird. Well, he's using a laundry hamper now. No, I gotta find my safety um, floor sign. Where is it? Um, I think you keep going, keep going down this hall. No, oh, it's in here. Um, no. Nope. Uh, well, I lost it. Shit. I'm sure if you pull up the map, if you really want to find it, pull up the map. No, it's okay. Wait, you think it's down another flight of stairs, maybe? Oh, it's just over there. Oh, also, crowbar, a car battery. <laughs> I mean, a car battery is a one-time electrocute, so. Yeah, it would be an accident. Which might help, I don't know. Or you could just push her out. That, no, my plan is to throw a, um, an explosive package at her. <laughs> oh my god, you're going to have to get frisked back to get, to get back in. Am I? Yeah. Did I just fuck that up? Yes. Yeah, maybe. Hello, sir. Nope. We're all good. Wow, that was So only there's there's only apparently one security check. Yep. But that was Mark's security check, so. Yeah, which is strange. Okay. Where am I going? I don't know. You're the one at the controls. Okay. 
this way. How the fuck do I get up there? That's the head of security here, Mateo oh, Perez. He'll be holding one of the three backup data disks. There's a key card. Is it illegal to pick up that key card? Uh, well, it's legal to go in the room. It is? No, it's not illegal to go in the room to mark security. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Didn't you have a security outfit? I do, wearing? actually. What were you wearing before? No, no, no. I actually know where security outfit is. I have one. Yeah, I know you do. I just wonder where it was. Um, it's where this guy is. The, the guy's clothes I'm wearing. There's a security guard with him. Oh, this isn't the right way. Nope. This it is. I am going to do this, however. Uh, where's this? That's a Frank Teller's outfit. Yep. No, it's so I don't have to go as far. What? Because I'm going to go back to get his suit. I have to run all the way downstairs. I don't have to run downstairs twice. Also, 47. Why aren't you running? I'd have to end up running down the stairs twice. Was it down this way? I don't no. know what down this way is. Hey, uh... Mm. Yeah, I... It was through here. And then... Nope, turn around. Turn around. No. If you're looking for where you got ugly sweater, turn around. No, it's in here. Okay. Nope. No, it's not. That's a teller outfit or something. You're right. Piso Miyardo. Is it in Spanish? I don't know. So, yes. <laughs> there you go. Now, hopefully, this guy's allowed in the security the room. <laughs> you just passed right by the stairs. Did I? Yes. <laughs> stairs to the to the right. You haven't gone this way before. Oh. Am I allowed in you? Nope. Shit. Really? That's an idea. Uh, got some strange noises here. Looking in open. Can the, uh, the thing, he's gonna see you as he comes around the corner. No, he won't. Jesus Speech. Christ, people in this game are dumb. Well, now I'm kind of wishing I noticed this here before. I wonder if there's a thing for um, changing outfits. A oh my god! Hey. Whoa, 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 just knock him out at the stairs up there. I'd rather not. 
No, there was a place to put him. Not on the stairs. Yeah, there is. Right there. Fucking stairs. I'm talking to you, sir. Oh, there's, there's a key card. We're good. Stairs are just terrible. You'll still knock him out. Yeah, but it becomes close combat and they can hear that. Also, he just dropped his security guard, so we're good. Where's my thingy? Where's what? My safety sign. There it is. Okay, to the bathroom. Gonna do the fire banker? If you're still looking for the fired banker, turn around. No, he's in the bathroom. Yeah, the bathroom on the stairwell where you knocked that guy out. No, he's down here. Is he? Yes. Why did you Why did you take such a long route for this? Because I'm not the most intelligent person on the planet. Also, I came down a different staircase. You know, I think at some point they're just going to recognize you by the, uh, by the floor sign. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, have you seen this guy walking around carrying a wet floor sign, big, tall, and bald? Oh, yeah, in the uh, ugly sweater. No, I mean a security guard. But the exact same physical description, though. That is just dumb. Can I just point this out? What? The fact that he didn't have a security card to get up to talk to the lady he needs to talk to. Yeah. Oh, no, no. It's tap wide. It's getting the bin. It's not my fault. <laughs> it is absolutely your fault. No, it is not. Why? Hold why is pick stuff up. Tap why is talk. What did I even take? You took a banker card. <laughs> what the? They know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the fuck? What time is it? 9.59. Fuck. What's the oldest or newest? Uh, five minutes ago. Oh, damn. Oh, are you, you're dressed as a security, aren't you? No. No, I'm the bank teller. I haven't even knocked him out yet. Mm, no, wait, I have. No, you have. Okay. All right, well, we know what to do this time. Nope. He's in the bathroom. That's strange. It's fine. I sort of know where I'm going. <laughs> I think the buttons on this controller are dying. <laughs> Oh yeah, the buttons on my controller are dying. Come here, boys. Okay. Do I have the coin still? I do. You dropped the thing. God damn it! It's not a briefcase, you can't put it in your offhand for whatever reason. I know I'm taking the most secure circuitous? Circuitous. Circuitous. Skikikarker. That's not the right way. 
Asinine. We'll go with Asinine yes. group. Yes. <laughs> I'm taking the most Asinine possible route. I don't... You know, I'm normally pretty good with getting around in games, but you're even getting me lost. Man, we might have a situation. So, notice how it's tap that, yeah, let's pick up. But tap Y will close the door behind it. Even if I hold Y, it'll still close the door. Why do you need to disguise to them? So I can go in the room without trespassing. Why do you need to go in there? So I can get the security card. Does he drop one on his own? No. This guy does, though. Wow. Hey there. Guard. Stop. Oh, there's a camera at the door. It's fine. The security's broken. Is it? Yep. Oh, yeah, it is. Close that door. With the uh, power of 47's door closing telekinesis. Yep. Normally he sticks his arm out to do it. Have fun. This is so stupid. Save. This is so dumb. It's I'm here for a meeting with Director Savalas. I don't think it... Oh, yes, of course. That's right, go inside. Thank you. Excellent. Oh no! My thingy! This should be a termination. Director Savalis won't forget. No, she will, though. She'll be dead. Yeah, dead people don't have very good memories. The thing. I'm gonna knock her out with it. Where even is it? It would be all the way downstairs, if anywhere. I think it is. By the way, there's another one in that closet. Yes, this way. There's another one in the closet. No, no, there's a... No, uh, no, no, no. In there. Uh, yeah, there. I lost, the, I lost it, but I found a new one. We're good. It's okay. 47 or one of the difference. What the hell happened to it? I don't know. Did you drop it in that room? No. No. I think I threw it down the stairs. Yeah, maybe you did. Ooh, that's a lot of security. Mr. Jackson, have a seat. Thank you. Mr. Jackson, as you must be aware, we've been running some numbers internally to measure the flexibility and productivity of people working here at the bank. Work hours, output versus input, sales portfolios, late nights and early mornings, things like that. I've been reviewing personnel files for the past few weeks. 
and a couple of files stood out. Yours, for instance. Is that so? I have quite specific expectations when it comes to my employees. How you appear and act reflects directly on me and this building. And, well, you certainly managed to stand out, Mr. Jackson. Tell me, do you knit those sweaters yourself? Or does your wife? A man needs a hobby, Miss Savalas. Guard, leave the room. I need a moment alone. Well, so the guards can leave. Jackson, I'm pleased to inform you that you will be able to explore your hobbies in even greater detail in the near future. What are you doing? Sit down. So, Mr. Jackson, I'm pleased to inform. You will be able to explore your hobbies in even greater detail in the near future. We're letting you go, Mr. Jackson. The bank appreciates your contributions over the years, but we feel it's probably... Wait, are you firing me because I wear a sweater? This may upset you, but let me assure you that eventually you will come to embrace this point in your life as an opportunity. This I don't... Termination, Miss Savalas. I don't know if this is legal. I'm not surprised. It's not. HR will send you all the relevant papers, Mr. Jackson. Please well, gather your things as soon as you can. I don't know. It depends on how strict their dress code is. Mr. Jackson. I think they were supposed to leave. I'm calling absolute bullshit, and you know what I'm just gonna do? I'm gonna drop a mine. <laughs> I'm just gonna drop a mine and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna reload that. Yeah. What are you doing? Okay. Hey, please don't leave any of your belongings unattended, sir. Oh, fuck off. So I, I have to drop it the moment I load, I think. Yep. You have like a second before it activates and possibly blows you up. You're fine. No, I'm just gonna drop it. Run. Director Savalas eliminated. Good work, forty-seven. So I guess you have to break into the bank vault now. Uh, no, I can come back to trust as security. I mean, I think I'm but gonna. But don't you want the Fabergé eggs and that weird violin <laughs> that's super valuable for some reason? I mean, of course I'm gonna go break into the vault, but wow, she just knows who everyone is. No, I gotta go back for my safety sign. Oh, they all... Yeah. Yeah, okay, never mind. Although I am a better security, so...
I don't think 47 likes running down the stairs. This is the vault, 47. The data core should be behind that large steel door. Oh, it's almost like they want me to do it. Okay, that's concerning. Just gotta figure out where the exhaust is. Uh, oh right, it's right here. Is there a place to hide these bodies? Um, no, but you could just leave the AC on. Shit. Well, don't mind if I do. Oh, yes. Nope. Not that key card. Back. Oh, um, there's a key on the ground. Found it. What? Why? What? I guess I can leave the AC. Putting the key to a very secure lock behind a door with a weaker lock just doesn't make sense. It makes complete sense. Also, I had to drop my thing. Oh, yeah, it's in there. Oh, wait, no, I dropped that a while ago. Never mind. What am I talking about? It's upstairs and by her dead body. Oh, she's 47. Great work, 47. You now have access to the vault. Yoink. Stradivarius violin. Commemorative token. A shooting bird coin. <laughs> All the gold bullion an uh, uh hitman could ever want. Do you know how heavy this would fucking be? So heavy. I have seven gold bars on me. Well, we're gonna get all the challenge points. They're called Imperial Eggs in this. Good work, 47. That's the evidence secured for now. Careful not to lose it. If anyone sees you with that rack, my guess is you'll draw a lot of unwanted attention to yourself. That's, That's why I got the suitcase. Oh, wait. The bank, 47. Miss Hall will want to have a close look at that data. Oh, shit. I can't, like, close it, can I? Just gonna wait till he leaves. Did you notice her? Yes. I 
I think this might be our most silent takedown ever. A very productive meeting, if I do say you, so myself. You say that, but you blew her up. Yeah, okay, well, they didn't know it was me. Have a nice day. For all we know, she just exploded. <laughs> she just spun. She just chose to spontaneously. Oh, it's pouring outside. Yeah. That's why he's wearing a coat in the mission. <laughs> she just chose to explode. As you do. <laughs> have e wait, have I blown up every single target so far? I don't know. I feel like I have. <laughs> no, wait. No, I didn't blow up the race car lady. Two stars. Clean ICA assassin. Remote. Oh, it's a flashbang, though. Oh, gold bar. 